What? So Haruta was still in there? Dad, no! Come on, Dad! I don't want you to die! I'm gonna go find you! No, Rin! Stay here! But I have to go save him! I have to! Oh! But wait, Rin! Please, wait! We couldn't find Dad. I'm so sorry. Now you're stuck here because of me. It's not your fault, Rin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't save you. I'm a terrible mother. I'm glad I was your daughter, Mom. Rin. Hey, Dad. Huh? What's up, Rin? Can you help me out with my homework? Oh, sure. I'm pretty smart, so you'll get your homework done in no time. <laughs> Haruto wasn't on good terms with Rin for a while because he ate her cake on accident, but this might be his chance to redeem himself. Good luck, honey. Yay! All right, but you have to teach me, though. Sure thing. Leave it up to me. All right, here we go. There's a train that's coming straight towards a group of five people. And if we don't do anything about it, the train will crash into them and they will all die. Huh? But if you press a magic switch, the train changes direction. But the train would be heading straight towards another person. What? You're giving him the trolley problem? But I don't want either of these things to happen. I don't want anyone to die. So what would you do? Well, you can answer my question, right? If you can, I'll respect you so much. God. Okay, but I need some time to think this through. All right, got it. I'll be looking forward to hearing your answer. And so Haruto sat down on the sofa and started thinking. Haruto, you should go to bed. I know it's your day off tomorrow, but it's so late. But Rin needs my wisdom, and I want to give it to her. I can't give her a half-baked answer. I get how you feel, but... Well, I'm going to bed. Good night. And the next day... Morning. Good morning. Wow, what happened to your eyes? Wait, have you been up all night? Yeah, I think I might... I feel like I might reach an answer soon. You were actually up thinking all night? Yep. You should go to bed. Dad, Mom, good morning. Oh, good morning, Ren. I'm gonna go play with Sumomo and May. All right, stay safe. Um... My name is Ayane, and I'm a 32-year-old stay-at-home mom. This is my husband, Haruto, and that's my daughter, Rin. I love them both, but sometimes these little incidents can happen. Usually it lasts only a day or two, but... But I think it's cute that he's thinking so hard over a question his seven-year-old daughter asked. I feel like Rin might have already forgotten about the question, though. Good luck, honey! A few hours later... I'm home! Rin, I have something I need to tell you. What is it? About what you asked me yesterday. I thought long and hard, but I couldn't find an answer. I'm sorry, Rin, but I can't choose one life over another. So we never did find the answer. I kind of knew this would happen. But in a way, not having an answer is an answer too. No, it's alright. I found an answer already. Uh-huh. I asked me and Sumomo and we found one. Right? Me, Sumomo? Yup! That's right! Oh, since when were you here? We reached an answer that'll shock you. What is it? We save all six of them. Huh? Save them? Yup! I'm sure we can figure something out. Yeah, the three of us are invincible when we're together. So we're not gonna choose either of those options. We're gonna make a new one. But that sounds so cool. I didn't think of it that way. You think we can do it, right? Yeah, I'm sure you can. Definitely. Yep, I'm sure too. After hearing that, Haruto was a bit bummed out for a while. But I like both their answers. They're both perfect in their own way. Apparently it was Sumomo who asked this question in the first place. I mean, I was kind of skeptical that they would be asked this question at elementary school, but... It was Sumomo all along, huh? Apparently she asked this question to everyone in her grade, and it caused a bit of a fiasco. Sounds like Sumomo, all right. A few days later, my mother-in-law is over to visit us. And then Sumomo asked me a question that goes like this. What do you 
think, Grandma? Huh? Well, there's only one option. Really? Dad took all night to figure the answer out, but you figured it out in a second. Well, Haruto has always been an overthinker. I would push the trolley so that it doesn't hit Haruto. Huh? Haruto is the most important thing on the planet to me. So I would push the trolley so it doesn't hit him. If he isn't in the equation, then I don't care who it hits. Oh, come on. You have to grow out of this. I'm an adult now. Oh, don't be like that, Haruto. You'll always be my precious son, Haruto. My precious, precious son. But then this thief came in and... Uh-huh. A thief? Oh, whatever. Anyway, Ayane. What is it? You need to come visit me the day after tomorrow. Huh? What? Why? I need to organize my husband's possessions. I haven't touched any of it since he died. Well, I can do that next weekend then. No, I want it done as soon as possible. I need it done by the day after tomorrow. Oh, stop acting like a child. You can't make Ayane do anything. No, I want it done now. I will not take no for an answer. Wow, Grandma's acting like me when I was a baby. Mom, if you don't cut it out. It's all right, I'll come visit you on that day then. Huh? Are you sure? It's fine, Haruto, leave it up to me. Uh, but If Ayane says it's fine, then it's fine. All right, it's been decided then. And that's why I'm headed to my in-law's place. My mother-in-law hasn't been the same since her husband passed away last year. Her personality has changed entirely, so we're pretty worried about her. And two days later... You're here! Come in! Yep, thanks for having me. I called you here today because I wanted to tell you something. Huh? I thought I was here to organize your husband's property. No, I lied about that. I need to talk to you about Haruto. What is it? You need to get a divorce with him. Huh? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get a divorce with my son. What are you talking about? Why would you say something like that? Why? I've been thinking about this for a long time now. For a long time? Yeah, I never wanted Haruto to get married. I wanted to marry him, to be honest with you. Uh-huh. But I never supported your marriage. But... But... My husband agreed to ship my son away to you, and he ended up with you. I asked my husband to rethink things, but he never changed his mind. He even threatened to get a divorce with me if I kept on bugging him about it. D did this all actually happen? Of course it did. Now that he's dead, I can finally bring this conversation up again. Couldn't afford to get a divorce with my husband, so... Now that his assets have been passed on to me, I have nothing to worry about. So anyways, hurry up and get a divorce with him, would you? I didn't know you didn't want us to get married. But I'm not going to get a divorce with Haruto. Huh? Are you out of your mind? Haruto is my son. He's my property. He isn't anyone's property. All right, I'm going to head out. Wait a minute! I ignored my mother-in-law made my way back to my house. Huh? Did my mom actually say those things to you? Huh? What the hell is she thinking? I'll talk with her. Yeah, thanks. And so Haruto called his mom, and they were talking on the phone for several hours. I gave her a good scolding. All right, thanks. Let's just stay away from mom from now on, and I'll make sure you don't ever have to talk to her again. Yep, thanks. Haruto said he yelled at her, so hopefully she won't keep on bugging us about this. But one day, I got a call from her. Hey, what's up? I'm so sorry about the other day. N no, it's all right. I feel terrible about what I said to you, and I wanted to apologize. So I sent a melon to your house. A uh, melon? I want you and Rin to have it. It's supposed to arrive tomorrow, so make sure you're both there to receive it. All right, see you. W wait! A melon, huh? I wonder if she actually means everything she said. I mean, is it even possible to apologize for what happened? So I got a call from her and... Huh? Really? This is the first time I'm hearing this. A melon? Yay! I mean, I guess there's no harm in taking the gift, though. Yeah, you're right. 
I have a bad feeling about this. I'm really not sure, though. And the next day, I got another phone call from my mother-in-law. Hello? Thanks for the melon. <laughs> so you don't know yet, huh? You should go check out what's happening to your house right now. Uh-huh. Your house is burning. Well, what are you talking about? I told you, your house is on fire. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't noticed it already. I lit your place on fire. Why would you do such a thing? Now Haruta will finally come home to me. But he's still in the house. Huh? I thought you were there with your daughter. No, I'm not. Rin and I were one of Rin's friends' houses. We're on our way back right now. That's why Haruta was home waiting for the package to arrive. Uh, are you serious? So you're saying Haruto's still in there? What am I going to do? She has to be lying, right? There's no way she'd actually light it on fire. I have a bad feeling about this. And when we got back to our house, my mother-in-law was standing there mumbling. Haruto, my precious Haruto. The house is on fire. You actually set it on fire? So Haruto's still in there? It's your fault. You stole Haruto from me. It's all your fault. That's the least of our concerns right now. I hear a fire truck coming our way. One of our neighbors must have called one for us. Haruto, please be safe. Dad, no! Come out, Dad! I don't want you to die! I'm gonna go find you! No, Rin, stay here! You have to wait for the firemen to get here. But I have to go save him. I have to. Ow! Ren, wait! Please! Ren ran inside and I started chasing her. Dad! Dad! <coughs> Where are you? Ren, we have to go back. No, we're not going back until we save Dad. Stop, you won't be able to get out if you go any further. Rin didn't listen and made her way further into the building. Dad! Dad! <coughs> but I, I can't breathe. Rin, we have to go. Wait. Huh? Oh, crap, we're stuck. Mom, I can't breathe. Rin, I can't breathe either. We have no way out. What am I going to do? No matter what, I have to save Rin. I tried my best to open the door, but it wouldn't budge. It was getting harder and harder to pull. I started to lose my consciousness. We couldn't find Dad. I'm so sorry. Now you're stuck here because of me. It's not your fault, Rin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't save you. I'm a terrible mother. No, you're not. I'm glad I was your daughter, Mom. Rin. Thanks for being my daughter, Rin. I'm sorry, Haruto. Sorry I couldn't save Rin. But that was when... <laughs> Ayane! Rin! Huh? Haruto! Dad? Everything's gonna be alright. Come with me. You're both safe now. I'm here to save you. I'm not gonna let you guys die here. Haruto, please save Rin. Please leave me. There's no way I can do that. And that's when I blacked out. Uh-huh. Where am I? Oh my god! Dad! Mom's awake! Hi, uh, Ow! You're squeezing me too tight. I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, I see what happened. You saved us. Haruto, thank you so much. You're so cool, Dad. <laughs> but I only did what any good husband would. I'm so sorry. This was all my mother's fault. It's all right, but why were you able to save us? I thought you were at home. Well, since Rin yelled at me for eating her cake the other day, I went out to get some more for her. Oh, I see. Wait, what happened to your mother? She chased after me when she saw me running into the building. Huh? But she inhaled too much smoke, and now she's in a coma. She brought this upon herself. Huh. Shortly after, Ren and I both got better, and we were able to go home. 
My mother-in-law also woke up, but she was sent straight to the medical jail. But she inhaled too much smoke that she can't talk or move anymore. She's going to be on that bed for the rest of her life. She did bring it all upon herself, but that's a terrible fate if you ask me. But anyway... Yeah, you were so cool back there. I fell in love with you all over again. Me too! You're amazing! <laughs> and you know how we were talking about the trolley problem the other day? Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, I didn't reach an answer then, but... If I ever was in a situation where I had to pick between either of you, I would stand in the way of the trolley and break it! And that's what I've been thinking. But I didn't think I'd ever have to actually do something like that. But I was able to do exactly what I wanted to do! Save you both! Well, I disagree. Yeah, me too! Huh? What do you mean? I don't want you to put yourself in danger. If you die, you would make both of us very sad. It wouldn't matter if we were alive or not. Mom's right! And why are you trying to break the trolley by yourself? We're there with you! If that ever happens, we can break the trolley together! If the three of us are together, we could do anything! <laughs> You're right. Alright then, let's break that damn trolley together! Yep! Yeah, I was able to relearn the importance of family that day. Some things may go wrong again in the future, but... When that happens, we won't sacrifice ourselves. We're all gonna solve the problem together. If Haruto and Rin are with me, I'm confident we can. If the three of us are together, we could do anything. I'm gonna make sure I cherish my life with these two.